With trust in institutions at an all-time low, and the concept of objective truth seemingly harder to agree upon, conspiracy theories are flourishing. The people that are perpetrating this hoax and the people that really run this world are not going to let go of that power easily. No one has an official nomination for a trusted source of mainstream media. The mother of all conspiracies is surely the flat earth. There is no curvature on this earth. It cannot be measured. Just think about it for a second. Why do hardware stores only sell measuring tapes at an average length of 10 meters? They don't want the layman going and measuring the Earth's curvature for themselves. But how do you know that you live on a globe? Can even that dog know something we don't? Can you prove it? I know I'm not crazy, so why should I be bothered if somebody says I'm crazy? No, seriously, stop calling us crazy! We live in a frisbee! We're not spinning round on the ball. It's not a clear-cut line. Right. Does the horizon stay to your eye level? That's why there's a band called Bring Me The Horizon. Because he could see it. Proving the earth, the earth is flat. Or do you simply trust the evidence you've been shown? Assuming such a lie would be too big. Well, I can see the curve. <laughs> yeah, I sure you can. <laughs> Idiot thought he could see the curvature of the earth. Moron! <laughs> Over the past few years, flat earth communities have sprung up online, not only sharing research supporting their theories, but often incorporating conspiracies that, for many, are far more dangerous, from vaccinations to Sandy Hook. Ask yourself this why do you feel the need to use Windows? and Microsoft Office. Vaccines, people. Wake up. But when I visited truth seeker Dave Murphy near his home in Sussex, he seemed keen to distance himself from any formal grouping of globe deniers. I'm not part of any movement. Right. I'm just Dave who, who knows the earth flat. He's a stand-up guard, Dave. He's like down to earth, um, but not, not because of gravity. Describe for me, if you will, what your beliefs are. I personally believe that we live on a big disk of water. There's a North Pole in the center. All the continents are strung out around it. And the edge is what we call Antarctica. Beyond that, who knows what's beyond that? Space bar. Um, my space bar's dirty. Uh, let me get a cloth. So this is where anywhere is. Beyond here, there isn't anywhere. Does that make sense? Dave, he probably won't get it. He's been indoctrinated by the system. Uh, if this is a realm of uh, 3D space and time, yeah. well, there can't be anything outside it because right. that implies, you know, 3D space and time. But that only applies here. Exactly. I mean, I know our, 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 fl our flat Earth um, 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 theory um, looks a little 2D-ish, but... Um, Go, go with Dave's 3D thing. Just go with his 3D thing. Right. I wonder if you could describe to me your circumstances when you started to look into this. I've spent the last 15 years looking for truth. That was the exact same thing that happened to me. I was looking around for the answer. I should have been looking flat. Everyone gets to that point in their life you know, around about 40 odd, that you start wondering, you know, what is this all for? What am I doing here? That's exactly what happened to me. Um, but I'm, I'm 35. Um, I had premature um, um, flat, flatulation. Dave took me down to the beach to show me the most simple flat earth experiment. Oh, a curvature calculation. <laughs> Batteries? I, I took the battery out. <laughs> There should be just under three feet of curvature hiding at the lighthouse, and there isn't. I did the exact same experiment and got the exact same results. Well, not, not exactly the same. I did get, I, I got a, a little bit of curvature, but but I, I, I was using a Canon camera. Do you feel like the mainstream scientific community will concede to your they way They can't, forward? because it means then almost the, uh, the breakdown of civilization. If you realize that uh, the Earth's flat, well then, hang on, why are we sending things up into space? There is no space. Exactly. And where are all these so-called satellites? I can't see them. Can you see them? And I've got 20-20 vision. 
Where's all this money going to? Exactly. Now I bought a telescope the other day and I was looking up into the glass dome, right? People will tell you it's space. It's not, right? And this is a pretty high power telescope. And I was looking for the money that they've been sending up to space. I didn't see not one dollar bill. Not one. All these rocket launches and there's literally no money in space. What's the point? The reason behind all this deception is they've relegated us to a microbe, a speck of dust in an infinite void with nothing in control. Powerful people who have got more money than us can now say, you do as we say. And they know that it's much easier to control people on a sphere than it is on a flat surface. I mean, just think about it. I mean, why do you think uh, um, Apple's new um, Cupertino head office is circular? They need to control their people. How did your family take the news? <laughs> My son went off and did his own research, came back and he said, yeah, yeah, I agree with you. And so did mine. I, I mean, he's, he's one, but uh, his findings were pretty valid. Um, um, I'm not going to go into it now. And my ex-wife actually thinks I'm crazy. She thinks I'm, uh, I'm mentally ill. Mm. It's not craziness. It's li literally what a true scientist should be like. Should be open to, to everything. True scientists should be open to absolutely everything. They should be investing in equipment and machinery that can take people up, up and, and prove to us that the Earth is flat. Do you ever have any doubt? I've seen so much now that I can't, I can't see it any other way. It's the exact same with me. The other day I saw a woman with what she called double D breasts and um, she was lying. Her chest was flat. In Hyde Park Speaker's Corner, truth seekers gather to spread the word. There are no spinning balls in space. Balls in space come down, play a game of football. Eventually that ball's coming down. There's no ifs and buts. There's one up and there's one down. Exactly. Just think about it. When you kick a ball in football, when you kick a sphere, it goes up and it has to come down. That's what happens to balls. Now, if you take a flat surface, if you throw it up, I've gone as far back as the Egyptian Bible, the Nag Hammadi scriptures, and I'm reading these, and to me, when I'm reading these words, you know, these aren't the words of someone who's trying to deceive us. These are the words of someone who's trying to help and guide us. Now that is very correct. That is why I prefer to use the Egyptian Google. So imagine spinning at a thousand mile an hour at the edge of a roundabout, how tight you'd have to hold on. You see, that's why it's impossible that Isaac Newton was just relaxing under a tree when the apple fell on his head. I mean, if the earth is spinning that fast, it He'd need to be holding on to things. He wouldn't have been able to just casually sit under a tree. We know now that the earth's not around, that it don't spin around, because the truth's being found. I love that song. Um, I've got it on vinyl um, because, because it's, it's flat. It's opposite. And we're going to be moving in opposite directions, and that's Whoa. where you get. We're going to get stuck. The okay. day and night. I mean, how does a lunar eclipse work? That I'm not real sure about. I mean, I don't know why he couldn't answer that. I mean, it's simple. I mean, it's because the moon is flat as well. In the conference itself, a familiar face was drawing the crowds. So what dropity is, it's the tendency for things to fall when you let go of them. Exactly, that's exactly what dropity is. Um, if you pick up something and you drop it, um, it falls. I mean, it sounds pretty similar to like um, gravity. Um, but I, 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 I prefer dropity. I, I think it explains more. I've always been a little bit different. I've always seen the world a little bit different. I was put in special schools. They said that, you know, I had a genius IQ, which, you know, whatever. <laughs> Funny, that's just the same as me. Um, actually, when I was born, uh, my doctor said that they needed to measure my IQ with a um, quantum computer, which um, they didn't have at the time. So um, we still don't have today. So. It's virtually impossible to measure uh, my IQ. I just know it's, I just know it's, 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 it's more than, than, than everyone else. But I had a hard time relating to other people and the world in general. I never was able to understand why 
the world seems to be so messed up. You know, why all these wars? Why all the killing? Why do they spend so much money on things like this when they could just spend that same money and fix the problems? I mean, just think about the wars that we've fought and the technology that we had, specifically in like World War II. I mean, tanks can't drive on curved surfaces. The surfaces need to be flat. Planes can't fly like a around to the other side of the world because if they're going all the way around the world to go and fight somewhere, um, you know, when they get to the bottom, um, they're upside down. If you were shown mm -hmm. conclusive proof of a globe Earth with your own eyes, mm -hmm. how would you feel and would you be able to adjust your viewpoint to match? Honestly, I would be relieved. I would be, because that would mean that this nightmare is over. Is it a nightmare? It is. It is a nightmare because we're going against the, the entire belief system of the entire world. I certainly do not want to be in the position that I'm in, you know, being ridiculed, being fired from jobs. Nobody wants that. That's exactly it. I mean, that's why I got fired from McDonald's, because I didn't want to keep um, um, pushing this lie to people so I wouldn't give them buns with their burgers. I would just give them the patties because that's the truth. It's flat. But then they go and they engineer these patties to um, um, sort of brainwash you in a subliminal way. And when you look at these objects, you tend to think, well, burger buns round, obviously the earth is round. And that's why they don't serve you just the patty at McDonald's, because they know they're lying to you. Everyone I've spoken to, when you really boil it down, what people want is the same as what anyone wants. To have some sort of agency, to be relevant to something, to have love, you know, all these things. Yes. Do you feel then that the Flat Earth really, really delivers that in a way that the Globe Earth never could, perhaps? Of course people are going to want to feel like they're part of something and not so insignificant. You know, that, that makes perfect sense. So yeah, when you, when you realize that and you realize that this world is much more special and you are much more special, then yeah, it makes a huge psychological impact. And I love what he said there because it's 100% right. You feel more special. Have you ever heard of a Frisbee player committing suicide? No, because the truth is in front of him, the truth is in his hands. It's, it's, it's as clear as day. Some have referred to the Flat Earth as a post-truth landscape. And whilst this may be meant mockingly, it also reveals a very present need for finding common ground in the face of irreconcilable differences. If we're to address the broader polarisation of society, attempting to understand, empathise and build trust are surely important tools to use, whatever the shape of your world.